Hey guys, hope everybody's doing great this evening. I'm Kelly from Chestnut Junction. You can find us at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Chestnut Junction. We specialize in primitive crafts and tonight we are going to be doing gingerbread men um, from the muslin gingerbread man uh, blanks that we make. Uh, these are gonna be available in our Etsy shop. Um, get a set of 10 of them for $9.99. When you get them, they'll just come in a little stack like this on stuff. They're 100% muslin. They measure, I think, five and a half inches tall and then four and a half inches from side to side. They're gonna have a little, little hole here in the side for you to stuff. So you just stuff these with polyfill and then you'll sew the opening um, closed up on those. Uh, we have other uh, muslin blanks available in our Etsy shop right now. I think right now we have candy corns, pumpkins, um, and acorns. Um, so tonight I just added some, uh, I just added some gingerbread uh, sets to the Etsy shop. So, um, I think I have 10 sets in there right now. So that's, uh, that's all, that's all I have right now is 10 sets available. Uh, so if you want those, you know, be sure to hop on over to our Etsy shop and pick those up. Um, but whenever we put new muslin blanks in the Etsy shop, I like to get on here and show you how we finished them off. So, uh, you like kind of have a little guide to go by because you're just purchasing the, um, the muslin blanks, they don't have any instructions or anything with them. Feel free to stuff them. Paint. I look like we had a little hiccup there. We're good now. Feel free to stuff them any way you like them. Finish them off any way you like them. But this is just kind of a little guide uh, to um, just to show you how to um, make the gingerbread if you're just really not sure um, how to do it. So um, I've gone ahead and um, stuffed this little gingerbread. Um, we stuffed him with polyfill and then sewed his little opening shut on the side. And then I painted him brown. And the color that I used is apple, apple barrel and it's, it's nutmeg brown. And I think, I think apple barrel's mostly available anywhere. I think most, Walmart, is it Walmart that usually carries the apple barrel? Um, but you can paint this any color. Um, you can paint it a darker brown, a lighter brown, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna give him some little cheeks. So for the cheeks, I am using folk art barn red, uh, and this this is my favorite my favorite red to use for primitive primitive crafting. And H hubby is on the chat tonight. Um, so if you guys come in, say hello. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Um, I think probably I should bend you down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and blush up these cheeks on the gingerbread. So I just took a little bit of paint and I squeezed it into my little tray here. So I'll be working out of my tray. just a little uh, flat edge brush here we're gonna blush up his little cheeks hopefully God can you see me guys can you see me it's gonna go in there and, and lightly add some color for his cheeks if I need to bend the camera down a little bit, hubby will tell me. Good. I just want to go light with the paint and do like a little swirling motion. You can always add more paint, but you can't take the paint away. So I like to go through and just Give it a couple layer, light layers. And if you aren't sure about how to um, stuff these muslin blanks, 
Uh, you can go back and watch the candy corn video, uh, which I go through uh, the detail of stuffing, how to stuff, and then how to uh, sew it shut. And if you don't know where to find our videos, we have our tutorial videos here on our Facebook page and we also have a YouTube channel. So just search Chestnut Junction or search Chestnut Junction Primitives uh, on either Facebook or on um, YouTube. We also have uh, we also have Instagram. If, you, if you're on Instagram. So there's these little cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with the hair dryer. sure if I mentioned it but um, like I said I had already um, pre-stuffed this and pre-painted before I came on here tonight and I did um, sand him before I added the cheeks and I just used uh, fine grit sandpaper and uh, sanded him before I added the cheeks um, for this little guy I'm gonna go ahead and give him some uh, icing and for that I'm going to use I think it's, it's called Pos Posca um, and this is a paint pen and we're using white and I think this is the fine tip it says bullet shaped fine tip and we're gonna go ahead and uh, give him some icing swirls you can use any uh, any paint uh, pen brand that you like so I'll make sure that I get you guys in here and you can see this. Whenever I do the icing swirls, um, I I don't like to go just straight across the the top. It kind of reminds you know me of like bad bangs. <laughs> you know you want your bangs to kind of be a little shaped. So whenever I do the icing swirl on the head, now on the the hands and the feet, you can go straight across. But on the top, I'd like to come in a little on the side and then arch towards the top. And it's just we're just going to give a little bit of a, a squiggly icing line. Um, cross your fingers that um, that this goes well. But I'm just coming in here and giving him some some swirly icing. I'm gonna hit that real quick at the hair dryer. All right, and then I'm gonna go through and do the hands. Here again, on the hands, you can you can go straight across. I don't know if you guys can see me doing this or not. Just go through and do the other side. And you can see I've, I've lifted up. You know, you don't have to do it all at one time. I've lifted up and I just go right back in. I'm going to hit those with the dryer. Okay, now 
we're going to get down here and do his his feet. Try to eye this up so you get him straight. Maybe I'll come this way. Uh -huh. see I've come up again you know so you can rotate and adjust yourself here these Posca pens they're there I love them they're the easiest to use in my opinion they don't drip um, they dry nicely Got his cheeks done and then we did his icing stripes so now I'm gonna get some black paint and this is crafters acrylic and it's just plain old black and then my tool which just is a paintbrush but I'm gonna be using the end of it um, we're gonna give him some eyes So I'm just going to take my cap and I'm going to rip off a little piece of paper towel here just to have something to um, wipe my, my brush off with. But basically what we're going to do is take the end of our paintbrush, we're going to dip it down into that black paint, and then we're going to dab black, dab black dots on here to give us uniform uh, little dots for his eyes and for his buttons. So I've got my paint down in there. I'm going to come on to his face and dab a little dot. And then we're going to come in and do the second dot. Okay. So hit that with the hair dryer. So now I want to add some buttons and my top button I'm going to try to get like right in the middle of his chest and then I'll put one at the bottom and then I'll put one at the middle. That's, that's how I get them spaced out evenly. One, I start out with one in between his, his arms, but one at the bottom, and then we'll even it up and put one in the middle. the end of my brush here I'm hit this with the hair dryer give his icing and his buttons um, and his eyes a little bit of a light sand if you'd like. And I'm just lightly going in there. I really don't like to, to um, I don't like to sand the cheeks. Okay, 
So now we have our coffee stain, and as I always tell you, I mix my coffee. Uh, here I am down here. <laughs> um, I mix my coffee in bulk. Um, for just a little guy like this, you could probably do like half a cup of warm water and maybe a heaping teaspoon of um, instant coffee. Um, if that if that combination, if that mixture's too dark for you. Um, add a little bit more water if it's not dark enough just add like a little bit a smidge more of, um, of instant coffee and this is just a cheapy bristle brush I'm gonna go ahead and coffee stain him I will probably just hit him with the hair dryer or even um, let him uh, air dry a little bit. But you also can, um, if you like to bake your primitives in the oven to dry them, you can do that as well. Um, I just find it would stay on a low temp oven, like maybe around 250, uh, and bake on an old baking sheet. But there he is, all, all coffee stained. And I'll just hit him here with the hair dryer. still damp but um, you would continue with the hair dryer until he's completely dry and then you could use your sandpaper again to scuff him up a little bit if you want to make him look a little bit more worn uh, but that's how you would do a gingerbread with the icing now I did another one um, just to show you uh, this guy did not have the icing and then I added a cute little cute little jute tie but th this is what it looks like, because this one's still a little wet um, from the coffee. So when he's all dry and you um, give him a little bit of light scuff with your sandpaper, that's what he'll, uh, that's what he'll look like. So um, we do have these gingerbread man blanks listed in our Etsy shop. Uh, I don't know how many are left at this point. Um, you get a set of 10. For $9.99, they're in our Etsy shop. I'm pretty sure they're in the handmade section. And our Etsy shop is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Chestnut Junction. Thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to post this video to YouTube. And you can re-watch uh, re it here. Um, we thank you for joining. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.